As a gamer, consumer, or buyer, whichever term you prefer, there are definitely questions you should ask before making any purchase. The first being, and the most obvious one, can I afford it? The next question, can I save up for it? Because being able to afford something and being able to save up for something are actually two different things, but I digress. Now, if you clicked on this video because you're interested in the G Pro Wireless, there is a major downside. Now, if you have medium to small hands and you like using fingertip or claw grip, I don't think you'll have any issue getting used to the G Pro Wireless, but if you have hands that are over six or seven inches from fingertip to palm, and you like using palm grip, there might be an issue for you. Personally, I've had the longest adjustment period trying to go from palm grip to using claw or fingertip grip, but in the end, the transition was worth it. If you're new to mouse and key and you're watching this video, please, 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 please learn fingertip and claw grip, get used to that. In this video, I'm using a modified claw grip, but my palm is not resting on the mouse. My fingers are the only thing holding it in my hand. And this is something that I'm actually okay with. What I found is that using my fingertips to make small adjustments will give me more freedom to choose whatever DPI or sensitivity that I want, rather than having to choose between mobility and precision while aiming. This might not be the case for you, but I found that low sensitivity is great for aiming. It's not necessarily great in games that you can get flanked a lot in, games like Fortnite, games like Apex Legends. One way that I've gotten around this in the past is by using a small amount of mouse acceleration in the gaming mouse software for my SteelSeries Rival 650. That's just my preference. And honestly, it hasn't affected my aim at all in a negative way. In fact, it's helped me to just have more calm and clear, precise movements. Having said that, you can't go overboard with acceleration and say, well, it doesn't work. It's something that you have to fine tune. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for you, the Logitech G Pro Wireless does not have any sort of acceleration feature in the gaming mouse software. This was one of the things I didn't like about it but I'm just fine with aiming at 400 DPI, no acceleration. It actually doesn't affect me at all. I feel like I'm better after practicing and playing with Mouse Excel. One thing that I've learned in the internet world of information where some of it's useless and some of it's right, question everything. Question everything, try everything, test everything. Don't just believe it, don't just parrot it. On YouTube, Kovac, the creative Kovacs Aim Trainer has a channel and a specific video which I will link down in the description talking about the good kind of mouse acceleration. This isn't something that you can use on console. Unfortunately, it's only for PC. So if you're a mouse and key console, I'm sorry. But if you're on PC and you want to try out mouse acceleration, the disclaimer I'll give you is that it's not gonna work in one day. Unless you're just a mad genius, which I, believe myself to be. <laughs> no, it's not gonna work in one day. It's gonna take some time to get used to. You're basically gonna have to unlearn almost all the muscle memory that you have built up for slow and fast movements. But in the end, it's gonna help you to be able to fine tune your aim beyond just moving your sensitivity up and down. I'm actually going to enable the CRU utility for the Logitech G Pro Wireless. In these clips, I don't have any mouse acceleration. And so a lot of times when I'm doing a lot of fine aiming, to me, it looks really hectic because when I was using mouse Excel and D cell, then my aiming just looked a lot smoother. So I definitely prefer the acceleration. It just feels more natural. It kind of feels like aiming with a controller, but with a little bit more control over my precision. But I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you don't wanna use mouse acceleration. So I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. What I'm gonna move on to discuss is what it feels like to go from having a heavier mouse to something lighter. My first impression is just that my aim feels bad. And that's just due to the difference in weight and the muscle memory I've built around having a mouse that's about 60 grams heavier than the G Pro Wireless. Other than aim, there isn't much else to add in a first person shooter. 
Although I will note that in my first few games, I felt like I was also overshooting with my turns, rounding corners and sliding through doorways. I actually adjusted to that pretty quickly too, so that's not a worry of mine. I'm going to talk about the cons or the things that I just didn't prefer about the G Pro Wireless. Most of the gaming mice that I've used before, or rather every gaming mouse I've used has a DPI button on the top of the mouse, slightly behind the scroll wheel. Normally I would just reprogram this to a keyboard button and I would use it for an additional mouse button. The G Pro Wireless does not have a top facing DPI button. This is my personal preference. I'm a keyboard player, I also play guitar and drums, and so I have pretty agile hands. Also, my fingers are long and slender, so I've never actually had any mispresses when it comes to the top DPI button, but I can see how with different size or length fingers that people could have sort of accidental clicks. I don't change my DPI at all during games. Even during Fortnite, I keep my DPI the same. This is kind of why I told you guys I use mouse acceleration to make up for my movement speed. Overall, it's not a deal breaker. I still ended up purchasing this mouse. It just took a little bit of getting used to without having that button there. So that brings me to the second thing, the second con in my opinion of this mouse is that it's an ambidextrous mouse, but the right side of the mouse is more flat and the left side of the mouse is more rounded. Coming from the SteelSeries Rival 650, the right side of the mouse was the rounded one and the left side was more flat. Because of this, it causes the G Pro Wireless in my hands to feel like it's a left-handed mouse. Even though it's ambidextrous, there is a subtle difference between both sides and so it's not completely even from left to right. But if you've never played with a Rival 650 or any other mouse with those type of curves, then you probably won't notice. And the next couple of things I'm going to mention are just my personal preference and it's not really a downside but I don't think there's any wireless mice out there or at least not very many that have side actuation to the scroll wheel meaning you can tilt the scroll wheel left and right. You can't do that on the G Pro Wireless or the SteelSeries Rival 650 and I have yet to purchase a wireless mouse that has that feature. Most of my dislikes when it comes to the Logitech G Pro Wireless are all the software, so that could apply to any of the Logitech gaming mice. Simply the customization is not enough. Coming from a SteelSeries Rival 650 Wireless, some of the customization features such as mouse acceleration and deacceleration and the lift off sensor adjustment make the Logitech G Pro Wireless feel a little less premium for the $130 price. However, I will say that because the Rival 650 weighs so much more than the Logitech G Pro Wireless, the features like the mouse excel and the liftoff sensor detection probably came at a cost of added weight. Not having features like excel and liftoff detection aren't really going to hold back my gaming experience, but trying to go lower with my DPI is a huge problem for a mouse that weighs 121 grams. For that reason alone, I would definitely prefer almost any wireless mouse that's decent and is lighter than the SteelSeries Rival 650. But guys, if this video helped, let me know down in the comment section. And if you're not already subscribed, consider joining the community. Tap on that sub button, enable notifications. I also have Twitter, Discord. Hit me up in my socials and we'll see you next time. Peace.